What's up y'all, welcome back to another video. My name is Miles with Holiday World out of Dallas, Texas. And today we are taking a look at this 2022 Keystone Cougar 355 FBS. I believe that's gonna stand for Front Bath Suite. And this thing is sweet indeed. This thing has what is gonna be like, almost like a flex room up front here in the front cap where you have a bathroom that you walk through. And then you have a wide open walk-in closet that can be used as a laundry room, a wardrobe closet, even an office space. I mean, there is so much that you can do with this room up front that you have. And then it has a really cool living arrangement as well. So a lot of awesome things about it. I think this may be one of Cougar's best full-time living option floor plans as well, or extended camping floor plan. So let's go take a look at it. So this Cougar 355 FPS that is 11,270 pounds, it is a mid-profile fifth wheel. So you're getting, by mid-profile basically you have, instead of a flat ceiling all the way to the front cap, it slants down a little bit, giving you a slightly smaller front cap than say something like the Montana here that is a full profile fifth wheel. So that is your difference there with a Cougar. It also doesn't have the drop frame construction on the Montanas you can see here. Let's see if I can zoom in. The uh, frame on these mid or on these full profile fifth wheels are dropped right there. You can see how, where's my finger? There it is. That frame right there is dropped down underneath. And then on your Cougars, you can see it's just flat underneath there. So that is what classifies this as a mid profile fifth wheel. Plus it has a slant down in the back on the roof line. So it's less expensive than a mid profile fifth wheel. But the great thing about the Cougar is it has been the number one selling mid-profile fifth wheel for over 10 years consecutively and just makes a great product. It also comes with a full-time living backed warranty that you get with uh, Keystone on the Cougar product as well. So it's designed really well, built tough. Um, like I said and have said in previous videos, my family owns one. So this is what we are in. We are in a Cougar 364 BHL and have had that for nearly a year now and it's been great. We love it. And it's just a great mid-profile fifth wheel that is really high quality. So let's walk around the outside here. You can see you have your amber docking lights right here and safety lights and the LED lights there. Plus you have them along the front of the cap up there. You have a nice automotive grade front cap. You have the Road Armor pin box. So this is going to be the pin box up here that will pivot back and forth. Plus you have the one inch rubber bushing here that is going to absorb a lot of that contact as you go up and down the road you break and accelerate and this will pivot back and forth reducing a lot of that chucking that you experience you have the patented hitch vision mirror here so as you're backing your truck up to the hitch you'll be able to look through that mirror and line everything up and then you have another light here so that you can see what you're doing if you're setting up in darker conditions Underneath here, nice place for the spare tire so it's tucked out of the way and easy to get to if you need it. And then you're gonna have your battery compartments here plus some additional storage. And then this is gonna be your battery disconnect. So underneath here, if you wanna flip this to power off, it is going to kill all the power to the battery, which you'd wanna do that if you're like leaving your campsite. And you don't wanna go turn off each individual light switch and everything individually. You can just turn that and it'll kill all power to the battery to save your battery life. However, this is a 2022 Cougar, meaning it is coming standard with a 200 watt solar panel on the roof that will help maintain the charge on your battery. So we'll get up on the roof in just a second, take a look at that. But as we come to this side, first of all, let me show you the specs right here on the sticker there. You're gonna have side camera prep, so you can get side cameras on this Cougar. It is already wired for that and the backup camera. You're gonna have 30 pound propane bottles on each side of this fifth wheel. So one on this side, one on the other side. And then on this side of the pass-through storage compartment, you're gonna have all your water connections right through here. So everything you need, including your external shower for hot and cold water, your city water connection, your fresh water connections, everything is right here. You have the satellite already wired up to the roof. So if you were to install a satellite on here, the wiring job is already done for that to the roof. 
You have an additional solar plug so you can get additional solar power to the battery to help maintain the charge if you want to do that. And you have your black and gray tank flush in here as well. Plus the cap underneath so you can run all your water hoses through there. You have this nice cavity that has, this flips down so it actually covers that area and then will flip up like so where you have that nice hidden storage compartment. You have auto leveling on this Cougar as well. So this is going to have your four point electric auto leveling. So you'll have two stabilizers back behind the axles and you'll have the two more up here up front. So you'll have those four stabilizers working with the auto leveling. Then you have this right here, which is the Victron Energy Smart Solar Charge Controller. So basically what this is doing here, it is working with your solar panel, then it's running to the battery to maintain the charge on the battery. And then you can scan this QR code and it has an app that is gonna give you a lot of valuable information, such as uh, the amount of power being drawn from the solar panel, the amount of battery life left on your battery, things like that. So a lot of valuable information. Then you have your 2000 watt inverter up here that is powering the refrigerator. So you'll have that and flip this down you can see you have a real nice large storage compartment underneath here you have heat duct running through here so it will be heated in this cavity and then i want to point out finally with all of your ducting not or sorry not ducting all of your welds on your framing which is kind of hard to see but back in there it's going to be welded on both sides of every frame connection you actually can't really see it too well on this particular floor plan because they don't give you a spot to see where the welds are but all of your aluminum framing is going to be welded on both sides of every frame connection. So you're getting a solid, strong weld. And there are a lot of manufacturers that actually do take shortcuts there and only weld on one side of all the frame piece connections, which I know because I had a customer at our RV show in Fort Worth that was up underneath here in a bunch of different models, shining his flashlight to make sure they were welded on both sides because he told me various different brands he saw that only were welded on one side. So. Something that Keystone does there as well is uh, welding on both sides of all your aluminum frame connections. You have all of your controls here for how to work the auto leveling. So you can access that as well. And then on these storage doors, they're slam latch solid doors with these metal hinges here. So real solid quality door that you have there. And then we're going to walk back around to the other side so we can look at the wiring panel real quick come over here and I also want to point out you do have two awnings on this Cougar as well so you have the awning here and the awning on the slide out so you get almost complete coverage on this side of your fifth wheel for awning coverage underneath here you'll have an inverted outlet so you can get power from solar to these outlets if you wanted to add another inverter and another solar panel and then underneath here in the in command system this is all your color coordinated wiring so all of your color coordinate uh, all of your color coordinated wiring is behind this panel here and then you have this legend that tells you where everything is running so that you can easily troubleshoot any electrical issues and then this is working in part with the in command system you have your power cord here that it'll come with plus your 25 foot coil hose for the outdoor shower and then you have another little lip here for some additional storage space you have your outdoor speakers on this side of the camper as well the Moride, what's the name of the step? I'm trying, oh yeah, step above step, that's what it is. You have the Moride step above step, so a solid step as you step on it. It's not gonna shake the whole camper. It's firmly, you know, touching the ground there and you can adjust it to whatever height you need. Then when you come underneath here, you have the road armor suspension on the Cougar. So the road armor suspension here is going to be working with the road armor pin box to give you that smooth towing experience where this has six inches of travel. So you have three inches of travel up and three inches of travel down, which are absorbed by these rubber bushings that you have on each corner. So when you're towing down the road, you get six inches of travel with the suspension system, which is better than any other suspension system that I've seen coming out of the factory, as far as the amount of travel that you have. Also want to point out underneath here as well with the framing, you can see, oh, it's back under here. You can see under here, you have your I-beam frame here. I believe this is a 10 inch I-beam frame and these are all gonna be stamped and just a real solid frame that you have underneath there. Coming back to this side, Let's go back underneath here cause you're gonna see under here that you have your sewer hose compartment. I really like that they put this here so you can store your sewer hose there since you don't have a back bumper area back here. And then you're gonna have a fully enclosed underbelly. It's fully enclosed underneath here. All of your water tanks and water lines are sitting above the insulation in this enclosed underbelly. 
and then every point that you have where you could have openings like by your water tank lines and uh, drain lines down over there they have the expandable foam to block those off so that no critters or anything run up underneath your underbelly while you're out camping for your slide out mechanisms you can see you have these on the rack and pin style slides where it's moving along that pin underneath here and that is going to be on your bigger slide out here coming along the back you have a 300 pound accessory hitch so you can't put accessories back there another nice feature with the cougar you have reverse lights that's something that you think every rv would have but a lot of them do not have but just a nice safety feature where you have the reverse lights built into the cougar system you have the ladder to get up onto the roof which is great because there's a lot of units right now coming without ladders because they have a shortage and now since this slide is not quite as big they have the cable system on this slide out um, it doesn't come out as far as the other one so you have a cable system on this slide out that's nice because all of your heavy equipment is in this slide out let's get away from the road we have a pepsi plant right next to us and there's always big trucks driving by but you have the cable system right here so that is going to pull your slide outs in and out from all four corners evenly making sure that that thing comes out in and out straight every time so you have that system there and on this one you're going to have the Schwintech slide system for your bedroom slide then finally let's get up on the roof and take a look at the roof real quick backup camera ready as well so you can install the backup camera all right so coming up on the roof first of all you have a five inch tall cavity underneath this roof that you're ducting and electrical wiring is running through and then you're going to have the 200 watt solar panel plus your two acs up here as well you have some attic vents so the attic vents are going to allow that's going to be these vents right here are going to allow hot air that's sitting in your attic cavity to escape and then you have your vents up here as well for the bathrooms and in the kitchen this is a WineGuard 360 degree digital antenna that you have as well that will work with the Wi-Fi router plus getting your over the air TV and it is an omnidirectional antenna. And forgot to point out, it's a fully walkable roof but also fully walkable slide out boxes so you can get on your slide outs and walk across those as well if you need to. Now that is pretty much everything for the exterior of this Cougar. I do also want to talk real quick about the climate package because Cougar does have a great climate guard protection package which is going to give you things like a double insulated rear wall. You have the two AC systems on here. You have a 35,000 BTU furnace. You have fully insulated slide out boxes. So the slide out boxes and the floor are insulated and they are a double layer floor adding for more insulation. You have the 12 volt heat pads on all of your water tanks as well. So each water tank will have a 12 volt heat pad on them. So if you're traveling in you know, below freezing temperatures or anywhere close to that and you have water in your tanks, you can flip on those heat pads as well and keep those warm. So a lot of different things to make sure that you can withstand all the elements in this fifth wheel as well. Now let's head inside. As we go inside, you're going to have the Lipper screen assist here to detach your screen door from your main door. And then a beautiful looking interior design here. I love the refrigerator that they choose in here. It just really pops. And then this is a full feature Cougar fifth wheel where they're not so concerned about weight. So you're getting things like a solid stone countertop here you're getting the full-size residential refrigerator and it just looks beautiful in here this is going to be kind of like a standard traditional you know rear living rear entertainment sort of floor plan but what really gets exciting and special about this is in your bedroom area up into the bathroom and then there's a little surprise here in just a second as well that we'll look at but first let's talk about a construction aspect of this cougar the flooring in here is all dynaspan flooring so basically what that is is it is a marine grade single piece flooring underneath here that is the same flooring they use in the montana as well and this is going to be kind of like the same flooring they would use in boats where it's five eighths inches thick 
and it is going to be completely marine grade so if water were to get exposed to it it would just beat up on the surface of the flooring there and never absorb into it now the best thing about this flooring is it comes with a 25 year warranty and keystone has never had a warranty claim on this flooring so that is something that is huge that they offer in this cougar just a high quality flooring in there that is going to prevent you from losing value in it over time if water does get exposed to it and were to create like soft spots in the flooring and stuff like that that shouldn't happen with this dinospan flooring another thing i want to point out as well when you lift up this carpeting here in the slide out first of all this is like a pvc woven flooring here and this is going to be a very rigid material so you can basically um, sweep this with a broom when you need to clean it and then also when you lift this up you have a fully wrapped subflooring underneath here and you have the astro foil layer of insulation as well so this is something that a lot of other fifth wheels in this price point that would compete with cougar do not have you lift up this carpeting here and it is going to be a fully exposed flooring underneath here that's not wrapped no layer of insulation or maybe it just has a layer of insulation but not a wrapped flooring and then a lot of brands that I've seen don't have this woven carpet here that is more firm. It prevents things from you know, breaking through the carpeting there and it is just much more rigid, much more strong. So fits the camping lifestyle a whole lot better. It's gonna last more over time because it is so much stronger. While we're here looking at the dinette table, this is something that's kind of cool from Cougar. This dinette table here actually has this latch right here where you flip this down and this allows the table to move back and forth. So this table, let me move this chair out of the way. It's kind of hard to do this with one hand, but let's, here we go. So this table here will move back and forth. It's much easier to do when you're sitting down than as I'm standing here trying to film it. But basically, this is going to allow that table to move to get your proper seating position that you want to be most comfortable. And it's something that I've only seen in the Cougar fifth wheel. Let's try to get that back to center now and latch it back in place. Oh, perfect. Line that up perfectly first try. I think that's the first time I've ever done that on the first try. But something really cool about the Cougar, uh, my family's 2021 Cougar did not have that. That is something that is new for the 2022s. So push that in. You will have the four seats here for your dinette table area. And then these little D-rings on the floor, people ask what those are. Those are to tie these down as you're traveling. So you'll have those as well. With your windows, they're all gonna be the pull-down blackout shades. So let's find it there, there you go. Everyone will have a pull-down blackout shade. And then in the slide-out box, it's kind of neat with your lighting here, you do have a dimmer switch. So you have this dimmer control, which will be used right here. And you can see as I move this down, it will dim the lights in your entire slide-out box. So you can get the lighting and get the mood right for whatever aesthetic you want in here with your lighting. Another cool thing I just figured out, you have the Allure furniture here, which is very comfortable. This is what is in my family's Cougar as well. And I love it. I think it's super comfortable and lays down pretty much entirely flat. And then you have in your cup holders, this is something I just discovered. So you can see here, you have a pretty deep cup holder. This actually comes out, makes the cup holder even more deep. And you can flip it like that. If you wanted to put things like snacks in here, or you know, if you had something different that you wanted to use this for, you actually have almost like a multi-purpose cup holder here, so long as you don't lose this piece. But that was kind of cool that I thought I you know, had never seen before, because I came in here and it looked like that, and I was like, oh, that's different. But yeah, so it's like a multi-purpose cup holder that you have. You also have USB ports on, let's see, right here, right next to your heat and massage features, plus your light feature on the recliner. They are gonna be the pull string recliners here. So I'll pop that out and you can see how it pops out real firm there. And then push this down. You can see how it lays almost entirely flat. But what I like about these chairs is just how firm they feel. I mean, you saw how quick that leg snapped up and then it snaps back into place real easily. And I feel like it just does a really good job of getting into the position that you need it to be comfortable. Because sometimes those recliners can be a little janky and I feel like you don't get that with this Allure furniture. So another thing that's nice about this floor plan, all of your windows are on the campsite here. So if you think about while you're out camping, you're going to be having all of the action going on on this side of the trailer. So you have all your windows on that side to see out there and see what is going on. So I love that. And then as you come around here, this will make out into a full size bed. So this sofa here, is a trifold sofa. It comes out to about right where I'm standing right here or so. 
and we'll make into a full size bed that you can sleep additional people on. And then you're gonna have the tables on the side with storage compartments underneath to store different items. And then you can, you know, you know decorate on these side tables. Plus you have outlets and USB ports on both sides of the sofa and your light switch that controls all of the roof lights in your main living area. Also have the nice big window back here, but they still give you the up above storage where this here is actually obstructed. So this is just one storage cavity there. And then this is going to be an unobstructed storage. So this will go through for both of these doors like so. And then you'll have another obstructed area back over here that is separated off. And then these are all gonna be hardwood cabinets here. So you get the hardwood cabinetry for everything there. And then you have the hidden hinges. So it looks very nice and modern in here as well. Get a big TV, big fireplace. This fireplace does put out heat. It also has um, four different color options. So if you're sitting anywhere in this area, you'll pretty much be able to feel the direct heat from that. And then if it's not too cold outside, like today it's in the 50s and it was in the 30s and 40s this morning, just turning the fireplace on alone would probably be enough if you're just sitting in here in the morning by yourself to take the chill off the air and make sure that you're comfortable. Another nice thing I like that they do in this Cougar model in your island, they give you kind of this cut out shelving space here so you can store different items there. And as I was looking under here, I just realized the LED light wasn't turned on, so I just turned that on. But you have the LED light under here as well that makes it look really nice. And I'll show you where the light switch is for that because it took me just a second to find it. But it's right over here. Plus you have your outlet here on the island as well. So you will be able to get to everything that you need plugged in right there. Plus in this area of your kitchen, you actually have two pop-up outlets so this here will pop up two outlets plus usb ports then you'll have your two outlets plus usb ports on this side as well you have a really large window here so if you open that up this almost this entire wall is a window so you'll have more natural light coming in from there as well plus i really like that it is symmetrical so you have countertop space on both sides of the stove you have the symmetrical cabinets next to the microwave and it looks really clean so i also want to point out real quick with your slide outs pushed in you are going to have access to half of your fridge here you can see when that slide out comes in both of these doors will still be able to open and then you should let's we can just push it in to test but you should have access to this door here which will be important in just a second but let's see all right slide out is all the way in as you can see you can still open at least one side of your refrigerator and you can actually yep just the one side so you can open both of those doors there. That'll get to your freezer portion underneath here. And then you can get into this door here, which I'm gonna show you what that is just a, in just a second after I push this slide back out. The slide out is pushed back out and this is a great time for me to show you the in-command control panel as well. So your Cougar will come with this touchscreen control panel that will link to your phone. So everything that this panel can do here, your phone can do as well. That's gonna be things like controlling your slide outs, your lights, your AC system. So you can actually program your ACs when you want them to come on and off your water pump, your water heater, and all of your tank levels. So you can access all of that from your phone, which is really cool. I definitely love that feature and it's something that is really convenient out on the campsite. And then I wanna show you what this door is here because if you just look at this, it almost looks like you have a double pantry because this here is pantry space. So you do have all this pantry storage in your kitchen. You can see that actually goes up pretty high there. And then in here, you have a hidden half bath that no one would even suspect is a half bath, which I think is so cool. You have your countertop in here with your sink and a medicine cabinet for some additional storage. Plus you have a window in here. So you can see you have all your storage in there and it goes all the way up to the ceiling. You also have a vent fan in here as well. And you have the Dometic porcelain toilet. So it is a really solid sturdy toilet where if this were to ever need to be replaced as well, the toilet seat lid, you can just go to Lowe's or Home Depot and get any residential style toilet seat lid and it'll go right on there. But this is your half bath. And the reason you have a half bath in here is because the other bathroom is going to be through the bedroom on the other side. So if you have guests that are sleeping here or you just don't want them to have to walk through your bedroom to get to a bathroom, you have this half bath here. Plus it is a really easy half bath to get into. Come right in through this door while you're out camping and hop in there if you need to use the restroom really quick. So I love that. That is really cool. I mean, again, as, as you look at it, 
It's so well hidden. I mean, no one would even know there's a half bath there. And I think that is just a brilliant design. And you can get to it while your slides are pushed in as well. So you can stop on the road. Now we'll talk about the storage in the kitchen area real quick. Then we'll talk about the AC system and then move up to the bedroom and bathroom. So next to your TV area, you have these two pull out drawers here that you can store different items in. And then you have really deep storage up above the TV. And then in your kitchen area, you're gonna see you have your shelving on both sides of the oven. You'll have the exact same storage on the other side of the oven as well. And then you'll have these big open cavities here on both sides of the microwave. Plus above the microwave, you'll have a big open cavity up here as well that your microwave wiring is running through. And then in the island, you're gonna have a big open cavity underneath the sink. So that'll all be open underneath there. And then next to this, you'll have these four drawers that pull out. In addition to that, in this drawer, it will come with your silverware separator. And this is going to be to go between all four portions of that um, refrigerator there to keep that locked in place while you're traveling down the road. So good storage in the kitchen area, definitely adequate for what you may need. I love that these cavities are really big to fit some of your, you know, cooking utensils and pots and pans and stuff like that in. Plus, you know, areas like this underneath the stove that I didn't show can fit some things underneath there as well. So lots of good functional space in the kitchen area. And again, these are all solid hardwood finishes on the cabinetry. So I'll get all that closed up and then we'll talk about the AC system and move into the bedroom. There's one more aspect of storage that I forgot to talk about and that's behind the TV. Look at this. Look at all this storage space that you have back here. It's a pretty incredible amount of space. And I also wanna point out that you have inverted outlets in here. So every outlet with that yellow sticker, if you wanted to add on to the solar capacity on here and put more solar panels on and then get the inverter for powering, getting that battery power converted or inverted to 110 to power your outlets, you can do that. So if you get that inverter, get another solar panel, you can start getting power to your outlets in this RV from solar. Well, technically what it's doing is charging your batteries so that they can maintain enough power to charge everything with the inverter. So you can get that system as well. But I wanted to point out that space back there and also point out this TV does swivel around so you can see it from this side of the RV if you wanted to have it, if you want to have it swiveled out. And then let's talk about the AC system. First of all, uh, Keystone, they do a lot of different things with their AC. So you have the Coleman Mach Q series AC up here. This is going to be a 15K BTU AC. And this one here, it is fully ducted. So it's ducted together with the second AC up there. That's going to be a 13.5 BTU AC and they're ducted together. Keystone uses a lot of different fittings up in these connections here to make sure that you don't lose any air as the air is going from the AC through the ducting. And then they also use this blade AC system, which we've talked about a lot, or a blade vent system. So you have these blade 360 degree vents that are pushing air out in a 360 degree motion. Basically what it does is instead of the traditional directional vents that shoot air in one direction, it evenly disperses your air as it's coming out of here so that you get more even airflow and it's cooling RVs down up to 20% quicker. That is something that Keystone has found in their engineering labs where they test this stuff out and that's something that was in the works for a few years that they finally implemented pretty much across all of their Keystone products at this point. So really efficient system. And then up underneath the roof here in your roof cavity, you have your AC ducting. And it's really important to point out what they're ducting here. On every connection, they use what are called these tough lock joiners. This is a Keystone exclusive that they have a patent on. These tough lock joiners are going to make sure that at every ducting connection point, there is a plastic fitting that is securing those together and then taped around so that it's not simply just tape holding those two fittings together, making sure that you don't lose air over time and those don't shift around and cause openings where you can lose air. So that is a Keystone exclusive as well, making sure that you just have a really dependable AC system, which is incredibly important out here in Texas where we have you know 100 degree plus summers with a little bit of humidity and you wanna make sure you have a good AC system that over the years is not coming apart and you know losing airflow, causing your RV to not cool down properly. You also have the max air vent here. So the really big air vent that does have a rain sensor on it. So it will close on its own as well. And I think that's just about it. I also wanna point out with your speaker system, you do have speakers on the ceiling here. So it is more of a surround sound style speaker system and all of your sound controls will be right up here underneath the TV. Plus you have 
um, your stuff like DVD controls and things like that if you bring DVDs with you. That's just about everything in this living area that I can think of. Hopefully I didn't miss anything that is important in this area. I feel like there was something I was thinking of that I'm missing that I'm forgetting to talk about. But if it comes to my mind, we'll come back to it. Pricing. It was pricing that I forgot to talk about because people always go crazy in the comments if I don't put the price on here. Even though this is just the MSRP price, but the MSRP here is 83688 so gonna be selling well under 80,000 for sure. Um, I just don't know our exact sales price off the top of my head. But if you're interested in this RV, you can contact me up at the number above and I would love to get you a great deal on this Cougar and help you make this thing yours. If you do wanna get Wi-Fi in your RV, it is already pre-wired for a Wi-Fi router. So you have the WineGuard 360 digital antenna up on the roof. All the wiring for a Wi-Fi router comes right behind that cap there. So you can replace that cap, install a Wi-Fi router and have direct access to Wi-Fi and LTE services with a Wi-Fi router getting installed from WineGuard on that. Now, as we come up the steps here, um, you'll have your steps with a grab handle. You'll have your touchscreen control panel, and then you can get a queen or king size bed in this Cougar. We ordered this one with a king here. So this is a king size bed. And you can see you have this space to walk around on both sides. You have this storage space up here, which is pretty cool. This is like a little flex storage area where you do have outlets and USB ports as well. So you can store some things up here on your bedside. There's room to walk around on both sides. Let's do a outlet check underneath here, see if there's any additional outlets. You have a nice little cavity back underneath there as well. It looks like there's no other outlets here. So it's just gonna be the outlets up here, but you will have, you know, that big cavity there to store different items. And that looks like it's well over a foot tall. This is probably, it's about the, it's taller than the length of my elbow to my fingertips, which is probably putting it closer to two feet longer. So I need to get a tape measure and bring a tape measure out here with me. But that's just giving you an idea. I wear a size, you know, 11 shoe. So plus, you know, I guess the foot, the length of your foot is usually the length of your forearm or so, plus the length of my hand there. So it's gotta be somewhere around two feet, just about, I would imagine. And then king size bed, you're gonna have windows on both sides of the bed, a nice, finished area behind there that looks really aesthetically pleasing you will have a strut assisted bed lift to get to your storage underneath so you'll have your storage cavity underneath here and it is strut assisted so it'll stay up on its own and then you're going to have some wardrobe storage here where you'll have these cabinets that pull out pull out nice and easy these are actually really smooth and so those will pull out you can mount a tv right here or just set it on the bedside you have a nice big window out here to your campsite with the pull down blackout shade tv hookups you have your AC in here as well. I do need to mention these Coleman Mach ACs are 12 decibels quieter than your standard AC system. So they are gonna be quiet. They're basically just like the whisper quiet AC systems that they used to have. And then you're gonna have these sliding pocket doors. So these will have magnet latches on them that will secure right there like that and stay closed. It's actually kind of a strong magnet. It was a little hard to pull that free. Not hard, but it definitely works. Then you have this latch right here to hold it in place while you're in transit or this little button snap that there you're gonna have shelving here for different storage and you're probably wondering you know where's the wardrobe storage and that is going to be through the bathroom here so as you come in you have all this floor space in here you have the rectangular shower the ceiling height in here is about six foot five so then you add in the bubble up here and you have about a clearance for about six, seven to six, eight in the shower. Nice stainless steel finishes on your bathroom appliances here. You have the seat in the bathroom area here as well. I also want to point out there is a little bit of a lip here in this area. So you can see the lip there that can give you, you know, at least like eight inches of water if you wanted to plug that drain and give a little bit of a tub space for kids. I know that's something we've done in our Cougar before with my three-year-old nephew. So you have that space as well. And then you have a fan in here. You have a lot of countertop space. They give you the one sink here so that you can maximize your countertop space. Plus you don't have that additional plumbing giving you room for all of these different storage drawers that you can use in your bathroom area as well. And then you have a really big mirror right here that looks really nice. You can see, you know, really big mirror easily can see everything you need to see about yourself in that mirror without a doubt and then this is really the main attraction of this this is what makes this so unique you have this wardrobe closet that can be used for so many different applications 
First of all, you have these clothing rods here all along the top that can hang a ton of different clothes if you wanna use it for that. It's also washer dryer prep. So you have your dryer prep over here on this side and you have your washer prep over here on this side. I believe they may even be able to fit in with these shelves still intact there. So you don't lose those things if you do put the washer dryer in there. And if you wanted to use this as something different, I mean, you have this little lip up. I mean, you could put a computer in here. You could put a desk right here. You could use this for so many different things. It's really a multi-purpose space. It's pretty big. You do have the ceiling start to slant down a little bit as you go in here. So my head hits the ceiling and I'm 6'2 with these shoes on, maybe 6'3. My head hits the ceiling as soon as I'm standing at this point right here. But it's a big space and it can be used for so many different things. I think this is so cool. It's something that you don't see a setup like this in a wardrobe closet in really any other fifth wheel that I've seen. This is really a one of a kind kind of closet. You also have USB ports here, outlets there, USB and outlets there so you can plug in a bunch of different stuff. You have outlets on this side and you have outlets on this side. Once that turns around, there you go, on this side. So outlets everywhere. So you could set this up as an office space too if you want to do that. It has these doors here that separate it off so those will close and then you have that area completely private in there. So that is what really makes this floor plan unique is that flex, you know, wardrobe, washer dryer room, laundry room, um, office space, whatever you want it to be. I mean, you could do a lot of different things with that. So pretty cool design. I think that and the hidden half bath are what make this design really unique. Plus it's just a really quality fifth wheel. That's all I got. Hopefully you liked the video. If you did hit that like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button. And then if you're interested in this RV, you can contact me up at the number above, or if you're interested in any RV for that matter, I would love to help you find your next RV. You can text me at that number there and let me know what you're looking for, what you're looking at, what your name is, and I would love to help you find something. And then don't forget about Firmly Unbound. I am very excited about the launch of this, so you can find links in the description down below to all of the social media sites for Firmly Unbound and get special access and early access to giveaways and discounts that we'll be doing prior to our first launch. So check those out down below. If you liked the video again, hit that subscribe button, become a part of this growing community of RVers all around the country. And until next time, I'll see y'all out there.